everyone, welcome to this update. I hope you're doing great today. And we'll be looking at what is happening across the Atlantic Basin. So on the infrared satellite, we can see that frontal system and the associated activity that extends across parts of the Atlantic as well as the Gulf and toward Mexico and other systems out there across parts of the North Atlantic. But for the most part, there isn't anything significant happening right now across the main development region as well as the Caribbean. On the visible satellite imagery though, we do see this cloud cluster within the vicinity of Jamaica and even Cuba and Haiti as well. So this has been resulting in some showers, especially this afternoon in parts of Jamaica. Similar story over in parts of Cuba. Cayman Islands not experiencing much though, but we do see all that cloud coverage over in sections of Central America, some of which is induced by the front in the area. So some spots and in Honduras going toward Guatemala and Mexico and then over in the east. There is that Saharan dust infiltration and it's been a bother especially for those individuals who have been experiencing the skin, the eye irritation, coughing, shortness of breath and even sneezing as well and uh, other respiratory illnesses such as asthma may be triggered by the dust. So that is the unfortunate side of things. Much of the eastern Alzi Lesser Antilles have been blanketed by that dust and we'll be looking at it momentarily but let's head on to the rainfall forecast and we are seeing that it's not too colorful across the Caribbean. As I said there's nothing major happening Right, now we've got that frontal system, so there may be some additional rainfall in parts of the northern Bahamas, western Cuba, as well as over in sections of Central America, some spots in Guatemala, Mexico, Honduras, as well as the Bay Islands offshore, even some spots in Costa Rica and Panama. Things may be a bit active in parts of northern South America, the Guyana, sections of Venezuela and Colombia as well. And then as we head up north, we can see that for Jamaica, as I said, there is some shower activity across some areas. So there may be some additional rainfall, even some heavy downpours at times across parts of the island through the rest of today. For other surrounding areas though, much of Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands through the Lesser Antilles, down toward the ABC Islands, and even for the Turks and Caicos Islands in some spots in the Bahamas, maybe pass, uh, passing showers at the most. As I said, much is not happening within the vicinity of the Cayman Islands, so it's going to be quite dry there. But it has been windy for some areas, especially in the South Caribbean. And as we're going to be heading into later today and even into tomorrow as well, winds may kick up offshore the Caribbean coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, so parts of Mexico, Belize, and uh, the Keys as well may experience an, an increase in those wind gusts and also in parts of the Windward Islands and other areas in the South Caribbean, the ABC Islands and offshore Colombia. Some of those winds could be up to 25, 30 knots. But in the Northern Islands, things may not be as active as we head through the rest of today and into tomorrow as well. Looking at the Saharan dust forecast, so this is for later today, 5 p.m., we're seeing all these brown shadings indicating the dust and the darker the brown is, the higher the concentration of dust within that area. So much of the eastern islands, as I said, blanketed by this dust. The ABC islands, parts of South America, uh, stretching all the way toward Colombia. So Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, uh, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados, Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, Guadeloupe, and even up toward Montserrat and Antigua. Uh, experiencing all of that dust coverage and even areas as far as near Panama may see some hazy skies as well. Uh, not a very dense concentration of dust within the area. But then as we head into tomorrow, we can see that this is going to be reaching uh, more areas in the Central and the Western Caribbean, not really approaching Jamaica. And with the help of that frontal system, which is currently in the area, it may not uh, go much further as we head toward Thursday. We can see that the bulk of this is going to be lingering over in the east and stretching across the main development region right back toward Africa. So that is the story in terms of the dust. It is going to remain hazy. It is going to remain a bother for the next couple of days, especially for the Lesser Antilles. Now, how about the next potential cool down? So things have kind of warmed up uh, since the last significant cool down last week, since all of that heavy rain, which moved through parts of the Caribbean. And so when is the next one coming? Well, let's look at the forecast. This is what GFS is showing for tomorrow on Valentine's Day. We can see these blue shadings across parts of the Gulf and even offshore of the U.S. and for some of the states as well. However, with the current front, it is not strong enough to 
、uh, result in those very cool temperatures across much of the Caribbean islands. So this is going to be offshore for the most part. But then, as we head into next week, let's head to next Wednesday, just over a week from now, and we can see these blue shadings. So below average temperatures for parts of the Western Caribbean, Central America, maybe the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, headed toward Cuba, and the Bahamas, maybe even reaching the Turks and Caicos Islands. So maybe not anything too significant, maybe just a few degrees Celsius cooler than what is typical. But I've been watching the models, and they seem、uh, pretty consistent about that next potential cool down. Again, may not be anything too. Substantial and just a reminder: we are in the dry season, which goes from around December through April for the Caribbean on a whole. Although it may vary a little bit more for different islands, but then as we head towards summer, when there is a lot more instability, we're going to be experiencing a lot more thunderstorm activity, a lot more rainfall, and especially with those tropical waves once they start rolling off the African coast. Finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the latest update from the Climate Prediction Center. And so here we are seeing it. Now we are seeing all of these lines and these numbers. Now the numbers are representing the chance of what the color of the line is showing. So, for example, we have the brown line, which is indicating the probability of below. Average rainfall, which means that things are going to be drier in those areas. The green indicates the probability of above-average rainfall. Meanwhile, that mustard color represents above-average temperature possibility. So, first we have from the week of the twenty-first to the twenty-seventh of February, and we can see that above-average temperatures are going to be possible across parts of the U.S., Mexico. And we're also seeing that for parts of northern South America, we see a 50% chance, 65% chance, even up to an 80% chance of above-average temperatures. And notice that we're also seeing those brown lines. And again, there's a lot of dry air and dust across the region right now with the Atlantic, so、uh, it is drier there. And there is going to be below average rainfall within that area, and with that persisting, especially across parts of South America, that could pave the way for droughts actually happening in some areas. Now, in terms of above average rainfall, there is that 50% chance of above average rain、uh, out into the Atlantic. Bermuda is really the only land area we see highlighted within that green line. And then, as we head to the other week, the week of the 28th of February, going to March, the third month of the year. We're still seeing those brown lines across parts of northern South America as well as the Western Caribbean. So sections of Central America may also experience below-average rainfall. We see a 50% chance of that happening.、Uh, again, we are in the dry season for the Caribbean, so nothing crazy is really expected right now. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this update. I really hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.